Welcome to Move the Needle. My name is Marlena Semenza, and I'm a photographer and visual strategist, and I create images that frame the way you are seen and understood by your clients and your audience. Please join me in welcoming today's guest. Natalie, please give us your name and tell us what you do. Woohoo! Well, thank you for having me. I'm excited to collaborate with you in any way that I can. My name is Natalie Klum, and I work with service providers in helping them transition their business to virtual and how to network virtually. You know, that we have all of these amazing tools and, and depending on when someone's listening to this episode, you know, we're, we're still in the middle of, of uh, COVID-19. And as a, in response to that, a lot of people are trying to figure out how to use the virtual tools. They, they've known, like it's been in their back of their mind. You know, I have a lot of clients who are like, I've known I've needed to do this for a while. Now, now it's become, you know, a, ne a necessity, right? So helping them use these virtual tools to connect, to build relationships, to, you know, we'll use some business terms here to generate leads, to grow their network, whatever that is. But I like to, again, hyper emphasis on relationship. How do you connect with people that you've never met in person and then move them to a place of actually becoming a client to work with you? And really, I would say the, the one tip that I have on this is how can you show up consistently and provide value? How can you demonstrate that you can help them solve a problem? How can you demonstrate that you can help them accomplish that goal? And we have all of these amazing virtual tools, um, social media. How do you make that memorable first impression on social media by you know, optimizing your social profiles? How do you create content in a way that captures your personality, that captures your voice, that shows that you are that expert, that you are that authority, that someone would want to connect with you and carry the relationship forward. And there's all of these misconceptions on how to use social media, particularly like there are these personal billboards that we're supposed to just, you know, copy, you know, put content out there all of the time. And, and we go out and we find someone to help us, but then they don't capture our voice. And if you want to invest in someone like that, it's really expensive. So how can you do that is individually. And I'm a big fan of video. So starting with video, taking that video and turning it into these other content or these other assets. But the other side of it is going out and connecting with people and seeing what they're putting out into the world and asking questions and engaging. It truly is about building relationships. So when you focus on the relationship component of it, social media shifts, it changes. It no longer is like something that you should do. It's a way, it's a lifeline, right? It's a lifeline to connect with people. And boy, has that been more than ever, right? Tools like Zoom, these are our lifelines. So how do we use them? to genuinely connect with people, demonstrate our authority, um, our expertise. I call it grow your influence. I believe everyone's an influencer one way or another. If you make a difference for one person, you make a difference for uh, many people, you're an influencer. So how do you use these virtual tools so you can minimize the impact when things happen that are outside of our control? I think we're all in, in the same boat with that but also how can you connect with people, build quality relationships. And if your goal is to grow your business, then you can grow your business. If your goal is to work from home, um, how can you do that effectively? So that's, that's what I love to do. That's, that's how I like to help people. Thank you so much for that, Natalie, and thank you for being here. Absolutely, thanks for having me.